And that is crazy because the underlying fundamentals of the stock have not changed. What is going on guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you are not already subbed to the channel, please do and drop a like, leave a comment, and that is gonna enter you into this giveaway at 500 subs for the awesome piece of wall art as well as a $50 Amazon gift card. So please, if anything, just drop a like on the vid. That helps me out so much. It gets me up higher on the uh, search results and as a channel trying to get found out, that is everything. Today we're gonna be talking about the Tesla stock split as well as some other companies that have either announced stock splits or I think they are going to in the near future just because of the massive run up we've seen in companies like Tesla and Apple since they've announced their stock split. The important thing to remember is when a company announces a stock split, the underlying value of the company doesn't change. You're just putting more shares into circulation for a lower price. So, you know, if the market cap was 350 billion before the stock split, uh, all things equal, the market cap is still gonna be 350 billion after the stock split. Absolutely nothing changed except the psychological factor of investors, right? If you have a company that is $100 and you know, in order to get a 10% return on that, it needs to go from 10 to, or, or 100 to 110, right? That's 10% return. Now, if you have that same company and uh, their share price is $1,000, you need the share price to go from 1,000 to 1,100. So psychologically, that seems like a lot more ground to cover, right? So you see these crazy reactions and crazy run-ups in stocks like Apple and Tesla um, since the stock split announced because investors realize that this, the share price is gonna get a lot cheaper as well as psychologically they think, okay, well now I'm gonna be able to buy something for a lot cheaper and uh, you know it's gonna run up. So Apple announced the stock split earlier in the month and they've run up about 20% since that announcement. And then Tesla has made that announcement uh, middle mid mid month. So in a span of like two weeks, they have run up almost 25%. And that is crazy because the underlying fundamentals of the stock have not changed. So I think you're gonna see a lot more companies like Google and Amazon and some other companies that are, you know, their share prices in the thousands, um, they're gonna start doing these stock splits because really they realize that for like, I mean, the, the fundamentals of their stock don't necessarily need to change in order for, you know, the share price to get run up and bought up. Because for people like you and me uh, who Robinhood trade and most people do trade like whole shares. I don't know a lot of people who do the stock slices. Um, so, you know, for for people like me, you know, seeing Amazon come down to, you know, five hundred, six hundred dollars, I may be a lot more inclined to invest and they're gonna be getting new investors that they didn't originally have. So though the underlying fundamentals aren't changing, they're gonna draw new investors and then people are gonna be way more apt to get into the stock and it's gonna run it up just because of that pure psychological factor. So I think as investors, the one way we could take advantage of this is we could get on board with companies like Amazon and Google and other companies that are in you know the higher price range, if you will, uh, per share. And I think we can do some stock slices. So what is cool about the stock slices, like let's say you wanna buy $500 worth of Amazon, you're still going to be uh, put in, it's, it's essentially like owning a, 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 stock, a stock split, right? You can own portion of Amazon for far less. You can own Amazon for $500 and own maybe like 0.25 shares or something like that. So when Amazon inevitably, because they will, because they're not going to let their share price go to ten thousand dollars it's not it's not feasible right so when inevitably they announce a stock split you are going to be able to take the you know you're going to get that run up so if amazon goes up 25 percent after they announce a stock split not a big deal you don't have to worry about missing the boat on that and getting in post announcement and spending four thousand dollars on a share of amazon that you know is going to split you can have five hundred dollars and then when it runs up 20, 25%, you can have $750, $750 and you can sell it before the actual split date. So I think that is a real way we could take advantage of uh, you know all these companies announcing stock splits. If you don't wanna own, go out and buy a whole share. Like for me personally, I don't wanna go spend $2,000 on a share of Tesla um, because A, I think it's expensive and B, I still don't understand the current valuation of the company. It's so crazy and I, I know the share price is running up and I know they have a lot of good technology and I know that, you know, when you look at the at the world market right there, they haven't even begun to penetrate all the areas that they could. 
um, but I just still can't get behind the current valuation. But I think for a company like Google and Amazon sitting on the sidelines watching, in particular, Apple and Tesla share price for you know no, no reason other than the announcement of a stock split run up uh, 20 to 25%. These companies are gonna be filing in line to do the same. So before, if you can get in before the actual announcement, that is huge. And you're gonna reap basically the whole a uh, whole return on that run up rather than getting in maybe a day or two after waiting for money to get into your account, et cetera, et cetera. So stock, spl stock splits definitely have an impact on the share price, but the way we can get around this and reap the rewards, if you don't want to own the whole thing, is do stock slices. I know Robinhood offers it. I know Fidelity does. Unfortunately, E-Trade does not. Um, and then just get you like you know, Amazon, get you a thousand dollars worth of Amazon, get you some fractional shares. And then when they inevitably announce, you get that nice run up and then you can sell before, um, before that stock split actually happens. And then you can rebuy in if you want and get more shares than you originally had. So just something to think about. I think that I'm going to seriously consider it because something that kind of crossed my mind as to a good way to potentially reap some really good rewards on companies that are a little higher priced that a lot of people don't have thousands and thousands of dollars laying around to just throw one share at a company. Um, so definitely something I'm going to think about. Before we go, today in history, August 20th, 1998, the Supreme Court of Canada rules Quebec, man, that's a mouthful, cannot legally succeed from Canada without the federal government's approval. I didn't know Quebec was trying to skeet on out of there. I know Texas has been trying to skeet out of the United States for a little bit because they kind of do their own thing and I love Texas. But uh, yeah, interesting stuff. So I don't know if Quebec is actually still part of Canada. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I'll have to go back to like fourth grade geography uh, for that one. But guys, that will do it for today's video. If you're not already subbed, Please do drop a like, that would be greatly appreciated, and I will see you guys tomorrow.